Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. And today, an MD Minute talking about Lyme disease. The CDC estimates that over 300,000 people a year are going to be infected with Lyme disease. That's a serious condition. It's especially problematic in the area I live in Connecticut. Um, Lyme disease causes a fever and rash and fatigue. It can be treated with antibiotics, but um, there are complications of Lyme that can be quite serious. And there's uh, people who don't seem to get rid of their Lyme, and that can cause a lot of issues. And I see a lot of Lyme disease. So I'm very interested in this disease. And it turns out that researchers, this is based on a study um, published in 538, a science journal, and Researchers have been looking at the reservoir where all the Lyme disease lives, these little spirochete bacteria, where they live when they're not in humans. And we understand they're, they're, they're deer ticks, they're bitten, you get a, bar, a, a tick which bites you, but actually the reservoir that's most known is from this little fellow who is a white-legged, a white footed mouse over here. And what we find, in fact, is that these white footed mice have been all over the place. They're now in 41 states and they love acorns. And it turns out that researchers in uh, top universities have found that this is probably the reservoir where you get the highest concentration of lime is inside those little mice. So they're looking at ways to actually treat that, one of which is to use uh, pest control to try and get rid of the mice. And the other one, interestingly, is genetic engineering so we can engineer some of these mice so that they're no longer a hospitable host for the Lyme bacteria. So my take on this is that I think they're cute, but Lyme isn't cute. I think that mice are in almost all homes, but if you have a lot of acorns, that is apparently what they eat, you should be looking at this and uh, you should be worrying about Lyme because these mice may be giving it to you. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minutes. Thanks for tuning in.